A man whose video that shows him licking a tub of ice cream in Walmart and putting it back in the freezer has pleaded guilty to public mischief. He faces up to a year behind bars for his offense. Let this be a warning to all you lickers. Buy your ice cream before you lick it. And don't put video evidence of it on social media. What is gravy potatoes? In case you didn't know, you're watching IO. That rhymed. On this channel, we talk about trending topics. If you need to play scary news, you should subscribe. Why not? Why not? Just subscribe. I'm Charlotte, by the way. They call me the potato queen. Don't ask me why. It's an inside joke. Right, guys? Right. All right, so do you guys remember that viral prank trend where people were going into supermarkets and licking tubs of ice cream and then putting them back? into the freezer? The trend was started by a video of a woman licking an ice cream tub and the media nicknamed her the Blue Bell Licker because she was licking a tub of Blue Bell ice cream. The video was seen more than 8 million times on Twitter and people everywhere were outraged. So someone else who took part in the trend or prank just pleaded guilty to licking a tub of ice cream and putting it back. That someone is Adrian Anderson. Surveillance footage in a Texas Walmart caught him on tape licking the ice cream tub. He also posted a video to social media that racked up over 150,000 views. It had the caption, Happy National Soft Ice Cream Day, laugh my ass off. What the video doesn't show you is that Adrian Anderson actually took the Blue Bell ice cream tub he licked back out of the freezer and bought it. Unfortunately, the damage was done. A warrant was made out for his arrest because the Walmart was forced to throw out every single tub of its Blue Bell ice cream as a precaution. This cost Walmart a considerable amount of money. Blue Bell released a statement at the time and said, We want to thank our customers for alerting us to this recent food tampering incident. <laughs> we take this issue very seriously and are currently working with law enforcement, retail partners, and social media platforms. This type of incident will not be tolerated. They added, Food safety is a top priority and we work hard to provide a safe product and maintain the highest level of confidence from our customers. During production, our half gallons are flipped upside down and sent to a hardening room where the ice cream freezes to the lid and creates a natural seal. The lids are frozen tightly to the carton and any attempt at opening the product should be noticeable. Okay, so even though most people know not to use products that have a broken seal, when this trend was going viral, people were panicking. The media had a field day. Even though all he did was make a funny video and he didn't put anyone in danger because he actually bought the ice cream, Adrian pleaded guilty to criminal mischief and now faces a $4,000 fine and up to a year behind bars. He asked the judge for leniency and probation. Do you think Adrian Anderson deserves to go to jail for what he did? Let me know in those comments. And while you do that, I'm gonna wrap up this video with some comment features. Absolute Alicia said, Charlotte, does IO ever give you a break? No. <laughs> me. Brian Gonzalez says, who needs news reporters when we can rely on Charlotte to give us the actual scoop? Just saying, I got the scoop. Get it, ice cream scoop. <laughs> Piglin said, don't snort tea, it hurts. Well, I guess I've been doing it wrong. Yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. Especially not when it's hot. That's it for me. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll see you just next time. Hey. Who's that? Hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs>